It is an awesome piece of kit. It's almost as long as the Empire State Building is tall. It never has to dock because it has not one, but two nuclear reactors to power it. But the big news right now, President Trump's views on transgender service personnel. And a little earlier on, I got to speak to the Admiral Kenneth Weitzel. What's your view on having transgender crew on your Yeah, ship? we're still, uh, right now our policy is uh, the same thing that was put out by the White House. Is they are developing the policy uh, for what uh, President Trump uh, tweeted out uh, with that. So once he determines uh, exactly how that policy is going to run, then the way our, gov our form of military works, the White House will determine the guidelines for it. The Secretary of Defense will then write the guidelines. Those guidelines will go to all of the services, and then the services will write their guidelines and favor? implement it there. Uh, for me, uh, I am uh, I don't have an opinion on it uh, one way or the other. I've got 5,500 sailors that are on board this ship. When you combine the air wing as well as the uh, ship together, 7,000 total that operate. Uh, I'm looking for sailors that can accomplish the mission. And that's all we judge people by. Dabnall was diplomatic there, but I think we got his uh, thoughts on it. Now, if you want to meet a real Top Gun, this is the place to do it. Lieutenant Commander Mike Tremel joins me now. Mike, thanks very much. And you are, you guys are just back from the Med where you've been taking on ISIS, haven't you? And Certainly. you took on a Syrian jet, the first air-to-air -air kill since the Gulf War for the Navy. Tell me about that and what was going through your mind? Uh, yes, sir. We were out there doing our primary mission, again, just trying to defeat ISIS on the ground and doing that close combat air support mission, uh, coordinating with the guys that were out there taking what was the city of Raqqa and came upon the Syrian aircraft that was inbound. There was some heightened escalations up to that point in time. And then per the rules of engagement, whenever we realized that uh, he was attacking friendly forces, uh, took the shot. Well, the USS George H.W. Bush is going to be here for another five days, dwarfing the usual traffic here on the Solent. Uh, for once, it's not a case of we're going to need a bigger boat, but we're going to need a bigger TV screen just to fit the whole thing in.